In this video, we will look at how do we divide fractions. Dividing fractions is a bit different process um, than adding, subtracting, multiplying fractions. Is it a memorizing process? Let's look at the problem in a different way. Suppose you want to divide three fifths by two thirds. In symbols, this would be three fifths divided by two thirds. Look at it this way. You got to think about what this division symbol means and actually what all these lines mean. All the fraction lines mean is um, really a division. So this division sign actually could be written as a fraction sign. So we could rewrite this as three fifths divided by two thirds as a fraction. This is known as a complex fraction because we have a fraction inside of a fraction. And it's not fun to look at. Um, so we would like to simplify this. And one way to simplify this is to multiply the um, numerator and denominator of the large fraction by the common denominator of the smaller fractions inside the large fraction. Looking at this, one can see that 15 is a common denominator between five and three. So if we multiply the numerator by 15 and the denominator by 15, we will see what happens. And that means we're just multiplying by one because it's the same thing in numerator and denominator. Three over five times 15 means we're doing five with the 15 over one. And five goes into 15 three times, and then you have three times three in the numerator, which gets you nine in the top. And two thirds into 15, three goes into 15 five times, so you have two times five or 10 in the bottom. And this has now been simplified. One thing I want you to notice is that if you had actually taken three times three and two times five, you would get nine over 10. So it looks like another quicker way to do this. So this is a perfectly simple way to think about this and a nice way to think about it. But you could think of this as three over five and then multiply by the reciprocal of two thirds. Reciprocal is the number that you multiply by two thirds to get one, and that is three over two. Then we just have to multiply these two fractions of three over five times three over two. Multiplying straight across, you get nine over ten. So instead of making division into a complex fraction and then multiplying the numerator number by the um, to clear the large fraction in the numerator and the dominator, the inside fraction, one can think about multiplying the first fraction by the second reciprocal of the second fraction. Let's try a couple more examples. And again, you can always go and do it the other way. But let's take 15 sixteenths and divide that by nine over two. Again, we could write this as 15 sixteenths over top of nine over two and then clear the, the um, fractions within the fractions. Or we can think of it as 15 over 16 and then multiply it by the reciprocal of two over nine. In this case, you can see that there be some simplification that happened. 15 is three times five, 16 is two times eight, two is already simplified and nine is three times three. Then divide the numerator and denominator by, by three, that will um, make those two threes into one and divide the numerator and denominator by two, that will make these two twos into number one. And then once you've done that, you can see you can have five times one in the top, over top of eight times three in the bottom for 24. One more is that I can take a whole number like seven and divide it by 21 over 20, over 32, sorry. The thing to remember is that that seven can be thought of as seven over one. You can make any whole number into a fraction by just putting it over one. 
then I could write this as seven over one over top of 21 over 32, or I could just multiply by the reciprocal of the 21 over 32, get a 32 over 21. Then again, seven is already in factored form. One is already factored. 32, we could write that as um, four times eight. 21, we could write as three times seven. I noticed I had a, three, a seven common in the top and bottom, so I could divide the top by seven, divide five by seven, mechanism in number one, and then you get 32 over top of three.